Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We're looking pretty good right now. We do have a cloud cover, but most of the radar is dry at the moment. But I'm tracking some rain chances as we move through the next several hours. Let's take a look at some of these current temperatures. 83 for Muscle Shoals, where a little bit of sun glints trying to come on through. As far as Gunnersville, lower 80s as well. Huntsville has a lot more cloud cover uh, over the last hour or two, and we will continue to see the opportunity for a few of these spot showers to pop up. Some of them have locally heavy downpours, even some gusty winds, but they are fairly quick movers. So it will be short lived for most of us, but we'll have the opportunity to see patches uh, as we move on in towards sunset. The big picture radar looks fairly calm at the moment. And in fact, the rain chances will continue to decrease as we head into the overnight hours. We spoke earlier about the uh, heavy rainfall across southern portions of Mississippi and Alabama. Most of that staying out of our way in the greater Huntsville area. However, we will continue to see overcast skies into tomorrow's forecast and even some rain chances as we move forward. For right now, though, broken cloud cover is what you can expect. 83 degrees, feeling like 87 out toward Muscle Shoals. But in all, the winds have been light and variable. Temperatures will tend to dip in the next couple of hours. We'll hang out in the 80s till about 8 o'clock and then we'll slide into those 70s for overnight lows. So there will be spotty evening showers, at least the possibility. All also, clouds continue to plague us on our Thursday forecast, but things are looking better as we move from Friday into the weekend. We'll see some partial clearing, gradual clearing, and even a bit of a warm up. So the rain chances for tonight look pretty good. About 30% is a pretty healthy chance, but that will drop off after 8 o'clock where we will have that cloud cover. And then for tomorrow morning, we start out with some patchy, dense fog in only a few areas and temperatures in the upper 60s. But the clouds again will be hanging out throughout most of tomorrow morning. Rain chances begin to moderate by midday tomorrow. I would say 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see that patchy, um, patchy uh, areas of showers and healthier rain chances into the afternoon and evening as those temperatures push to the middle 80s. Hour to hour forecast is not too bad. Mix of sun and clouds by Thursday afternoon. You might even need the sunglasses on the drive time home for some of us. Then clear cloud cover for Friday. By Friday afternoon, though, that's where we're going to really see the change. Spotty showers are possible, but if you have those Friday evening plans, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock is looking pretty good. You might even be able to dine outdoors at that point. We will hold a mix of sun and clouds over the weekend, but I think the sunshine is going to dominate. And the biggest takeaway from that weekend forecast is that we are finally drying out. So expect temperatures below average for tomorrow will be in those upper 80s to near 90 degrees by Friday. But Saturday and Sunday so far looks like a pretty good weekend to make those plans.